Hi, this is Paul from paulbratby.com and this is a uh, video for my vlog on the Expert Algo. This time we're looking at stocks on box for a short on the six star short. So this is the short, but I want to go back to the daily time frame first to go through a couple of notes that I want to make here. So let's go through to the daily time frame. Okay, let's move in. As we can see now, the overall trend that we're in at the moment, although we're pulling back, we are in a bearish trend. Why are we in a bearish trend? Let's just put a couple of lines on here to show you why. So we have this high here, it pulls back, we get another high, but it's a lower high, okay? Then we get another one, a lower high here. So what we have is we move down to a support and resistance zone. Again, I'm drawing these on the daily when I'm using stocks because the stock signals uh, that we give in the Discord group and also the ones I use for stocks on the Expert Algo are 39, 78 and 195 minutes. Uh, and then we pull back again a lower resistance level. So we're getting these lower resistance levels each time. So that's showing us there is a bearish bias here. So we're really looking uh, for those shorts. So if we go back to the time frame that we took the trade on, okay. So remember the support and resistance zones are drawn on the daily uh, for the stocks for these um, for these. And I'm using a normal chart on here. I'm not using a Heiken Ashi. Heiken Ashi is only used for charts that's got a 24 hour instrument. Stocks are not a 24 hour instrument, so we just use the normal chart on this instance. So uh, very, very, very simple uh, in that we come back to test this uh, resistance zone. We just peek up above, then we come back down again. We get a six star sell on this candle here. So we want to go short below the signal candle. It's simple as that, 1736 to stop above this pivot here. Then we work out the risk to reward, which is one to two into this support zone. So really, really good risk to reward. We could look at these pivots here. Uh, but in reality, um, we, we just use that to gauge our trade management. So if I was to draw this in here, this is just a recent small pivot. Okay, it's not longer term, but we have a pivot there. We'll change that to purple. Okay, here. So we do have an issue. So when it gets to this, uh, point here and rejects we could make the trade risk free in this case it just shot through uh, so you know when we go to trade management then we'd look to put a trading stop above there okay above this uh, short term support and resistance zone we come back down almost test this support level here we bounce back up we have a lower resistance level and then it comes back down again so a trade management option there would be to put the stop above this um, pivot then we come back down and then yesterday we got down and we tested that support zone again for me that's the time to get out these are very very strong support and resistance zones drawn on the daily we're trading the 78 minute on the expert Argo. we've had a great trade we tipped the one to two so ten thousand dollars risk on this trade twenty thousand dollars win in a few days really 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 strong signals we get here remember it's just about understanding that overall bias uh, with especially with stocks um, go to that daily time frame understand that behavior we're in a bearish bias state with this particular stock so we're only really looking for shorts checking the support and resistance zones on the daily looking for that risk to reward it's as simple as that just eat sleep repeat just do that same thing every single time so good trade here on box using the 78 minute on our x brat elgo